Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can use money in Excel. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Now you might be wondering, what is money in Excel? Well, the name itself is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's a new template add-in that Microsoft just released on June 15th that allows you to manage and stay on top of your finances. Now you might be wondering, Kevin, really, you can't come up with more exciting material than finances, but hey, maybe your future self in 30, 40 years down the road will come back to this very video that you're watching now and comment and thank me for this astute financial advice. All kidding aside, the best way to think of money in Excel is it's like mint.com, but combined with the power of a spreadsheet. Now what you could do with money in Excel is you can connect your Excel spreadsheet to all of your different financial institutions. I could connect it to my bank account, my investment accounts, my mortgage, and then I could pull all of that data into Microsoft Excel. Now I personally manage my finances in Excel and I don't use any special add-ins or templates or anything like that. And it's a lot of work. Half the battle is just getting the data into the spreadsheet. I have to go to each individual location to pull the data in. The great news is money in Excel now does that for me. But not only does it get my data into a spreadsheet, it also provides a whole bunch of visualizations on top of that data. So I could quickly view my spending, I could view all of my transactions, I could view my net worth. So there are all these pre-created templates or views on top of my financial data. But because it is a spreadsheet and I have all my data in the spreadsheet, I could also create all of my own views within the spreadsheet. So there's quite a bit of power by getting all of that in. Of course, it all sounds great, but there are some caveats. One of them is you need a paid Microsoft account, so either a personal or a family account. The good news though is if you get one of those paid accounts, you get quite a bit of value with it. So you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you get OneDrive storage space, and you also get money in Excel added in there, and there's more value coming all the time. Uh, the second caveat is you have to be located in the United States currently, although the team promises that it is coming to more locations in the near term. Well, anyway, why don't, why don't we jump on the PC and first off, I'll show you how you can get money in Excel and then I'll show you how you could use it. All right, let's jump to it. Here I am on my desktop and we're gonna start off by getting money in Excel and to get it, what you need to do is navigate to the following website. Now it's a very long website and I don't expect any of you to type this in. Instead, what you could do is simply click into the description of this video and then you could click on the link that I've included there and that'll bring you to this page. On this page, you have two different options to choose from. One of them is edit in browser so you could edit money in Excel in your web browser or you could click on download and this will allow you to open the template add-in on either a Windows version of Excel or the Mac version of Excel and I'm gonna go ahead and let's download this sheet it'll go pretty quick the sheets relatively small and once it's downloaded let's go ahead and open it once Microsoft Excel opens with a template, the first thing you'll see is you'll be prompted to enable editing. Now this is, a, this is a template that I trust because I downloaded it from the official Microsoft website. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on enable editing. Now the next thing I also wanna do is I'm gonna expand the window to take up the full screen. All right, so the spreadsheet is all ready to go. Now, as a first step, what I would recommend doing is let's save the spreadsheet. I currently have it in my downloads folder, but especially if you're gonna be using this spreadsheet over time, you wanna make sure you save a copy onto your device. So I'm gonna go up to file, save as, and just for simplicity, I'm gonna put it on my desktop for now, but you could save it in the cloud or some better location on your computer. And of course, the default name is just this template kind of gobbledygook there. You could rename it something better. For instance, I could have said Kevin Shafford finances or something a little friendlier. Now, once I'm here within the spreadsheet, you'll notice a few different things within this template. First off, I have a whole bunch of different worksheets down here. I also have a pane that appears over on the right hand side and I have a new option up on top that says money in Excel. Now the first uh, sheet that I'm on is called the welcome sheet and so I'll just kind of scroll through it and we can see what kind of content is on here. But what it does is it helps orient me to money in Excel and what some of the things are that I can do here. It's some of those things that I talked about earlier. You could add accounts, you could look at your spending and we're gonna walk through this too and I'll show you how all of this works. And down here at the very bottom, what you'll see is if we 
we go through all of this and it promises that we'll reach the end of a rainbow and there might be a pot of gold and we'll be able to reach all of our financial goals. So at least that's the promise. Now, if I click onto the next worksheet, there are a whole bunch of instructions here that tell me how to get started with money in Excel. And so, you know, there are quite a few uh, instructions just to help you get started. Uh, but in this case, we'll just jump on. The next thing that we want to do is over here on the right hand side, we have this pane here and it says manage your finances all in one place, get started. Well, that sounds promising. Let's click on get started and it says to get started. Well, first off, you have to sign in. Earlier, I mentioned that you need a Microsoft account and it has to be a paid account. So you need to sign in with that account. I just signed in with my Microsoft account and what you can do is when you first log in, you won't see any accounts within this view. So we need to get things added in. So what you could do is click on the accounts pivot here and then simply go down to add an account. And when you click on add an account, Microsoft says it uses Played to link to your bank account. Now, if you've never heard of Played or you don't know what it is, chances are you've actually used it before. Uh, what Played does is it facilitates the connection with your bank account and Microsoft Excel. Services like Venmo, Betterment use Played to connect to all of your different financial institutions, uh, so you might have used them before. Now, all of this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and link my bank account so I could click on Continue. And then you have the option to connect a variety of different accounts. So whether you have a bank account, an investment account, a mortgage account, any type of account that you have, Played connects to over 10,000 financial institutions. So chances are your financial institution shows up here. I've already connected my bank account, so I'm not gonna go through these steps, but this is how you would go about adding it. Okay, so I've connected my bank account and here I see a high level summary of the cash, any credit card amounts that I have. I also see details related to uh, my loans that I have or say a mortgage. Uh, and so I see all my high level accounts. Now I just added a bank account, uh, but I could also go in and I could add my investment accounts and other types of accounts. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna keep it simple and add my bank account. Now, one thing that Money in Excel tells me is it found 57 new transactions. And right now, if I click into this transaction view, I see nothing is showing up in here. So what I need to do is I need to click on update. So it brings my transactions into my Microsoft Excel and here now I see that it brought in all of my transactions. So here I could go through and I could look at all of my transactions and it looks like it pulled in all of my recent bank account transactions. And some of the things I could do is over here on the bottom different worksheets I could click into snapshot now and I could see a snapshot of my spending. Now, when I click over here, one thing I'll see is that it's currently set to June 2020. If I click here, I could adjust the month and I could choose a different time period that I wanna look at. Uh, and so here I could see, well, what is my spending this month versus last month? Uh, what were some of my top areas that I spent on? How does this month compare to last month? frequent merchants, merchants where the most was spent. So what Money in Excel does is it pulls together a lot of interesting views that helps me understand how I'm spending money. Once again, I'll click back into the transaction view. One thing that's nice here within the transaction view, I could also copy and paste these transactions into a different worksheet, and then I could analyze the data. I could create my own views on this data. So Money in Excel kind of simplifies the whole process of getting my data into Microsoft Excel. And even here with my different transactions, I could set different categories on my transactions. Now, if none of these categories really uh, fit my need and you know maybe there's a, another category that I wanna apply, I could click over on this categories worksheet and here I see all of the default categories that money in Excel has. Of course, it's relatively comprehensive, but there might be other categories and I could go ahead and then add my own custom categories and then those custom categories will show up in this list and I could set those on my different transactions. These are all of the default views in the worksheets down here at the bottom, but Money in Excel also has additional views or what they call templates. And so I'm gonna click into the templates pivot up here and there are two additional views that I can add and Money in Excel promises that there are more views to come or more interesting ways to visualize your financial data. The first one here is a way to view your net worth. If you're wondering what net worth is, well, it's very simple. It's all of your assets. So think your bank balances or your investment accounts, and then you subtract all of your liabilities. So that's like your mortgage or your credit card bill, things like that. 
I'm gonna click on add, and so here it gives me a little bit of information about what it is, that sounds great. And actually, I'm just gonna go ahead, let's click on add to workbook. And you'll see here now it's added a new worksheet to my workbook called net worth. And here it gives me a summary of my net worth. Now don't feel too bad for me, it shows a massive negative net worth, but I haven't added all of my accounts. I promise my financial situation is better than being very deep in the hole. But here you can see I have my mortgage showing up, and then I have a little bit of cash in my bank account and so when it takes my mortgage and my bank balance it shows that I have a negative net worth um, of course if I added my other accounts uh, I would see my true net worth now that I've added my net worth let's see what other templates I can add if I go back to the templates pivot over here in the money in Excel pane I can also add recurring expenses so this will give me a view into any expenses that I have that happen month after month or whatever the cadence is for those payments let me go ahead and add this template so here it shows me that two different expenses are recurring and I'm gonna click on add to workbook. So this will add a new worksheet now and here it gives me a summary of what my different recurring expenses are. So here I could see the upcoming payments I have. I could see a table detail of all my recurring payments with the last time that they were paid. And then here I also see a visual view of my recurring payments. Uh, so it does a very nice job summarizing uh, my financial data. And once again, additional views are coming in the future, which will also provide a nice view. Now some of the things I also wanna show here is not only can you add these different pre-created templates, if I go up here and click on For You, this these are different insights on my data. So I get things like, well, what's the top merchant I spend with? What are big purchases I made? Or what happened in the previous six months? So here I could very quickly see different insights generated. And here too, you can imagine that more and uh, other highly valuable insights will appear within this view. And the last thing I wanna show now is, let me click into the settings page it and here within settings what you can do is sure you could add additional accounts you could edit your accounts but one thing that's interesting here is you could also turn on or off a summary and alert email so every week you could get an email that analyzes your finances or sends some of those insights to you they also have promotional emails where you can get more product information or tips or things like that that's kind of interesting so I'll turn that on as well all right, well that was a quick overview of how you could use money in Excel. If you feel like you're on top of your finances now, or even if you don't feel like you're on top of your finances, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button, that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below, I read them all, and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.